Next up, Brazil's Luis Oliveira against Artish Gomcian of Georgia. Here is Oliveira making his way to the ring. Pan American Games bronze medalist Artish Gomcian. Won a good contest a couple of days back against British born Afghan boxer Mehdi Sahak. Gomcian made his strength tell in the end. Sahak had a couple of points deducted in the final round, but Gomcian was well on top by the end. Five judges from Sri Lanka, Puerto Rico, Fiji, Italy, and the Republic of Korea. But Oliveira certainly has a boxing pedigree. His grandfather, Servilio de Oliveira, was Brazil's first Olympic boxing medalist at Mexico City in 1968. Won by stoppage in his previous bout against Israel's Vladislav Voroshilov. Near the end of that contest, he was well in top, but Voroshilov didn't appear to be in all that much trouble, but the referee stopped it anyway. I remember that, this. So now, again, pressure mounting. Intensity fully on. I think we'll have a fair bit of engagement in this because Gomcian does not go back. He likes to come forward and... Sure he'll taste that jab because Oliveira, the southpaw, is quick. Yeah, it's a big difference in height and reach, but that has never stopped Gomcian before. Gomtsiam landed some really powerful punch punches against Sahak, and Sahak took them well. Oliveira's chin will need to be solid here, I fancy. <laughs> and as you mentioned that, he tested. Yep, overhand right from Gomtsiam. There's a big left from the Georgian, and he'll do this. He'll rough up the Brazilian. Oliveira will try to use his speed and his boxing skills. <laughs> Left lead from Gomcian. This is right where the Georgian wants to be. Body to body. Oliveira might have switched to orthodox for a second, but back to Southpaw now. <laughs> Oliveira doing a good job of just drifting and dodging those big shots. Can't do it forever. That's a huge left from Gomsiam, and Oliveira's on the ropes. He's at somehow got himself out of trouble with some very nifty footwork. <laughs> there were danger signs there for the Brazilian. It's better from Oliveira. Quick shots, gets out of there. again using the ropes to his advantage better from Oliveira left to the body Gomcian is a handful excellent opening round I think Gomcian did enough early to take it but we'll see what the judges think All five giving it to Oliveira. How about that? Gumpsian busier early. I think Oliveira turned the tables a little bit. And sometimes, you know, styles are more appealing to some. Well, there was one huge left from Gumpsian, which hit the target. 
excellent body shot from Oliveira. So, instead of Gumpsian feeling comfortable, uh, it's that man from Brazil, although not that comfortable, but up first round is in his pocket now. There's a lot more demanded of Gumpsian right now. And he's come out charging in the second round. And this is what you would expect. It's a left in there. A lot of discussion from the referee. Rivera making his man miss. Really is. Showing a bit of strength there as well. Not Queensbury rules, but he's letting Gomitsian Gomitsian know he's there. Stern words for the referee. Gomitsian indulges in a bit of rough stuff. It's not the kind of stuff that will help him. And. Ooh, incredible balance <laughs> from the Brazilian. Balletic from Oliveira. Yes. As Gomsian goes to work at close range. <laughs> There's the I'm not holding, but actually right. I am holding from Oliveira. <laughs> now, Gomsian needs to keep busy. Well, it's all he knows. Yes. That, that is his style. That's his modus operandi. And right. but then he needs to be more accurate, find the range a little better. There's a couple and, and, and a, several, but <laughs> there it, just ducking away. I think missed most of those. Yeah, he's a hard man to hit. Gomsian, you can see, just getting a bit frustrated. although that was a good shot. Inside the last 30 seconds. Oh, that left uppercut was on the button. Oliveira finishing the round the stronger. And I had a bit of doubt about the scoring in the first round, but I don't think there's any doubt in the second. Oliveira has taken control of this contest. Absolutely. If he swept round one, he did it again. There's no doubt, but we'll see. There's some uh, serious faces in the Georgian's corner, and indeed, that's the way it is. 10 to 9 on all five scorecards. It's like Luis Oliveira heading to the quarterfinals. Right. It, it, you know, you always think a pun there's a puncher's chance, but at 57, maybe not so much. You'd have to take a whole bunch to stop his moves. There was a point, I think, before I noticed that he noticed that he was in control. I think at some point he felt like, I, I'm okay here. Oliveira was one win away at the Pan American Games. Losing to Jamal Harvey in the semi-finals. He's on the brink of being one win away here in Italy. I think Gumsian knows the score. Gomsian will keep coming forward. Holding by Oliveira. Three. 
Oliveira receiving a few warnings. And that was a better shot from Gomcian. This is a better round from him, but then Oliveira, just as I say that, now they're going to dance a little. Oliveira has to be a little bit careful here because he is being spoken to on numerous occasions. A lot. He is in control. He's two points up, but a point deduction brings this contest back into the balance. In this last minute and a half, Gumption continuing to work, fell down, and Oliveira took the opportunity to remind his Georgian opponent of who he is. Got right in there on that loss of balance. Straight left from Gomtsian. Finds the target. And some more discussion. Minutes ago, Gomtsian needs to really wind it up here, but and holding again against Oliveira. But the Brazilian is probably having the better of this final round. Despite Gomsian's huffing and puffing, it's again not beautiful. And there's another warning. Ah, that was more of a just a reminder. Great right uppercut into the body. Does have a great away array of shots. Does Oliveira. Ten seconds to go, and Oliveira looks like he's going to try and finish with a flourish. And there it is, and he's celebrating. He knows yep. he's done what's required. Gontzian, he's given his all, but he's come up against a very classy opponent in Luis Oliveira. For sure. And he, you know, he had the had the height and the reach and he used the jab, but also he would move around in, in fancy ways, but nothing nothing uh, stylish about the power. He, he was connecting. Saw the Olympic rings tattoo on Oliveira's right arm, and he's one step away from fulfilling that dream. We wait for the official verdict. Unanimous points decision for Luis Oliveira. He'll be in action again tomorrow evening in the quarterfinals of the men's 57 kilogram class. And on that evidence, he is going to be a handful for anyone. And you know, he there was a there was a bit of a war, and he looks fresh. He not not moved at all. And he'll have not much time to turn this around. Again, I think it's three bouts in four days for most of these guys. And it'll be maybe five days for some, but you see some of the work. His uppercut was really sharp. He had a lot. He had a lot. <laughs> Great hand speed, movement. Strength as well, because Gomtsian looks like the strong man, but there was that one occasion in the second round where Oliveira fairly threw him to the ground. Yes. Confirmation of the result, very one-sided. All three rounds to Oliveira on all five scorecards. And we'll get a look at the bracket for the men's 57-kilogram class shortly.